This video is brought to you by NordVPN. So make sure you stick around towards the end of the video to learn how you can get a great discount and more. Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. And today we are going to be looking at five movies where paracord or paracord bracelets have been spotted. So I've tried to go with movies that are mainstream and most of you have probably seen. And these are in no real particular order except for my personal favorites. So that being said, let's get into it. Number 5, The A-Team. Directed by Joe Carnahan and based off the TV show from the 1980s, this movie stars Liam Neeson, Bradley Cooper, Charlotte Copley, and Quentin Rampage Jackson. I've only seen this movie once, but I do recall it being a pretty run-of-the-mill action movie, but I do remember it for having its moments and being somewhat enjoyable. And the paracord bracelet spotted in this movie is worn by Liam Neeson, who plays Hannibal. He's spotted wearing a Cobranaut bracelet in Odie Green, and surprisingly it's done not in loop style and not with buckles. The movie is basically about four Iraq war veterans who are part of a special forces team that are imprisoned for a crime they did not commit and set out to clear their names. Hilarity and action ensue. With regards to that bracelet though, it would make a lot of sense for Hannibal to be seen wearing one being an ex-United States Army special forces soldier. Overall, a decent movie and worth checking out. I never watched the original A-Team TV show, so I can't say if it does it any justice, but still not a bad action movie with some funny moments. Number 4, End of Watch. Directed by David Ayer and starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena, they play two Los Angeles Police Department officers who work in South LA, Brian Taylor and Mike Zavala. The film focuses on their day-to-day -day police work, with their dealings with a certain group of gang members. This was a very decent cop movie with a documentary-esque feel that had likable characters that were realistically funny while also having moments of intensity and being emotionally gripping because of their friendship. The paracord bracelet spotted in this movie is none other than Jake Gyllenhaal's character Brian seen wearing a black Cobranaut bracelet while on duty. Also, he's wearing the bracelet on a shackle clasp, so again, surprisingly not on a buckle. Oh, and there is this one laughable moment to all of us knife guys when Brian refers to his pocket knife as a spider co knife when it is clearly a Smith & Wesson pocket knife. That's not a spider co knife. These are. It would have been perfect if he was wearing a thin blue line, but perhaps the costume designers weren't aware of that detail or that paracord bracelet style. Taylor is also an ex-marine, so him being both a cop and coming from a military background makes perfect sense for him to be sporting some paracord. If you're into cop movies, I would definitely check this one out. Number 3, Venom. Directed by Ruben Fleischer and Andy Serkis, this movie stars Tom Hardy, who will be making a couple more appearances in this list, as Eddie Brock slash Venom, who is a journalist that gains superpowers after being bound to an alien symbiote from outer space. This movie was okay for me, I expected a lot more, especially because Marvel Entertainment had involvement in this film, but it was still a decently entertaining time, and I'm a huge fan of Tom Hardy, so it was still worth a watch for me. Eddie Brock in this movie is seen sporting two paracord bracelets. In fact, he is wearing a Mad Max Cobra Knot bracelet in some scenes, alongside a Scaffold Knot bracelet and a wooden beaded bracelet. I actually have a video recreating his wristwear from this movie, I'll have it linked in the cards as well as the description box down below. With regards to the bracelets in this movie, I'm pretty convinced that Tom Hardy added these bracelets to his costume as they kind of look like the sort of wristwear and bracelets he wears in real life when not in a film. So perhaps he just wanted to add his own little touch to the role, which was super cool. Number 2, The Dark Knight Rises. Directed by Christopher Nolan, I don't think I have to tell you guys much about this movie, because if you haven't seen it, you've probably been living under a rock. But like the previous movie, this once again stars Tom Hardy as the mysterious and brutal Bane, alongside Christian Bale as none other than Batman. So I'm cheating a little bit in this one as Bane doesn't wear a paracord bracelet, but he is seen playing with paracord in a couple of scenes. Maybe he's in the process of making one, or maybe he's just messing around. Who knows? But the fact that he's got paracord is all that matters. With them being a paramilitary type force, I'm sure they have paracord on hand as part of their kits, and I thought that perhaps this was just a nod to that. However, after doing some further research, it turns out Bane playing with paracord is actually an easter egg, referring to Madame Defarge from the Charles Dickens novel A Tale of Two Cities, 
of which many references are made and even quoted in the movie. Now without getting too much into it, in A Tale of Two Cities, Madame Defarge is one of the main villains of the novel and a part of the French Revolution. She is often depicted knitting during the public executions, and similarly we see Bane knitting with Paracord in the audience of one of the trials presided over by Scarecrow as they decide the fate of the rich and wealthy Gothamites. That to me is a really cool little easter egg and reference that made me appreciate the movie even more. And if you haven't seen The Dark Knight Rises, please go see it and all the other Christopher Nolan Batman movies, but I am a little biased. And speaking of movies so far, I wanted to give a big thank you to this video's sponsor, NordVPN. If you love watching movies like I do, you might find that certain movies aren't available to you on your favorite streaming service depending on where you live. Well, NordVPN is a great solution to this problem as you can switch your location to just about anywhere you wish and then gain access to titles that you wouldn't normally be able to watch. Not only that, NordVPN protects you every time you use the internet and especially public Wi-Fi. It encrypts your data while traveling from one spot to another. It makes your web browsing experience secure so that when you are entering bank information or any other sensitive things like passwords, they won't be able to be hijacked by anyone. You'll be kept anonymous, protected, and safe. Best of all, they use super fast servers that allow up to six simultaneous connections. If you use my link in the description, you'll get 68% off NordVPN, which is only $3.71 per month. Plus, you'll get an additional month free. So just visit nordvpn.com slash w-o-e paracord. So thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And finally, you all knew this would be number one, directed by George Miller and once again starring Tom Hardy as Max Rokitansky. To describe this movie, I'll just read the tagline in my best movie trailer voice. <clears throat> in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, a woman rebels against a tyrannical ruler in search for her homeland with the aid of a group of female prisoners, a psychotic worshipper, and a drifter named Max. Now this movie is a masterpiece and one of my favorites of all time. I owe a lot to this movie as the Mad Max Cobra Knot bracelet is one of the most popular bracelets out there and it really helped promote Paracord and my channel in turn. Anyhow, the story of this bracelet is quite interesting as Tom Hardy revealed that he made the bracelet himself and in fact he made a bracelet to give to Mel Gibson, the original actor to play Max, as a gift. Now, I would personally love to get a Paracord bracelet made by Tom Hardy, even though we all know that would never happen. But hey, you know what? A man can dream. So, throughout this action-packed wasteland adrenaline rush, we see Max sporting his Cobra Knot bracelet with its unique closure that we've all come to know and love. Now, what I would like to know is if it was Tom Hardy that came up with this style of Cobra Knot bracelet or if he learned it from someone else. If you haven't seen Mad Max Fury Road, I highly suggest you check it out. It's a hell of a ride and seeing Max Rokitansky wearing the Cobra Knot bracelet will make your inner paracord nerd be filled with glee. So in conclusion, there are a few great movies out there with paracord bracelets in them. I'm sure there's plenty more, I just wanted to highlight the more well-known ones. But if you do know of some other great ones, please drop a comment down below and let me know what other great movies feature paracord or paracord bracelets. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials, as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.